6 a.m. Say my name. Heisenberg with Tech of Tomorrow. I mean, Elric with Tech of Tomorrow. All right, so like I said, it's 6 a.m. It's early in the mother morning what am i doing up in the morning what are you doing up in the morning if you guys are on the east coast or somewhere else in the world it may not be 6 a.m but here california pacific standard time it is launch day launch day of what well that is the brand new gtx 960 from nvidia now this thing is supposed to be the 1080p sweet spot card and i think you guys are going to agree that with an entry level price of 200 dollars and frame rates above 60 frames per second in almost every game at high settings, I think you guys are going to be pretty impressed. Now, there's a lot of cards coming out to the market from reference designs to aftermarket designs, reference designs. See, it's 6 a.m. I barely got my shit together, but I'm here for your video. Today, I have one that's not only super clocked, it's super, super clocked. And this is the brand new EVGA super, super clocked GTX 960 coming into the market at about $209 featuring ACX 2.0 cooling. And with that said, let's jump in and let's check out the speeds and feeds about the new GTX 960. The new GeForce GTX 960 is based off the GM206 chipset and has been designed to deliver great gaming performance at 1080p. With the graphics settings cranked up and FXAA, MFAA, or 4XAA enabled. The GTX 960 will even deliver playable frame rates with 4K DSR when playing MOBA games like League of Legends. The GeForce GTX 960 ships with 1024 CUDA cores and 8 SM units. The memory subsystem of the GeForce GTX 960 consists of two 64-bit memory controllers equaling 128-bit with 2 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory. There are 64 texture units and 32 ROP units. The TDP of the 960 is 120 watts and a recommended power supply is a 400 watt power supply, not too much at all. Thermal threshold is at 95 Celsius. The base clock speed of the GeForce GTX 960 is 1126 megahertz. But the super super clocked version comes in at 1279 megahertz, which is quite an increase. The typical boost clock speed on a reference card is 1178 MHz. The boost clock speed of the Super Super Clock version, however, is 1342 MHz, which is also quite an increase. The memory clock is set at 7010 MHz, and NVIDIA is saying that these cards will overclock even the reference ones to at least 1450 MHz. So 1450 MHz just for a standard overclock card out of the box, that's pretty damn good. With that said though, now let's take a closer look of the brand new EVGA Super Super Clocked GTX 960. As we take a look at the card, we can see right off the bat there's a black shroud covering the front of the card, featuring two fans, the EVG name and the name of the card, the GeForce GTX 960. The card also features their brand new ACX 2.0 cooling that also features a 6.2 power phase design. As we flip the card around down to the side, you guys can see that there's a cooling apparatus all encased between that shroud, and that contains a bunch of aluminum heat fins and then some copper heat pipes. As I flip the card around to the rear, you guys can also see that there are three heat pipes emanating from the rear of the card. As we flip the card around to the other side, you guys can see that once again, we see the EVGA GeForce GTX 96, and we also see the SSC emblem as well. There's also more of the heat fins, and then the single 8-pin power connector, which is required for powering the card. As I flip the card around to the rear, you guys can see it has a completely black PCB, which also matches the black heat shroud in the front, which is great for when you're building a computer, because black matches pretty much anything. Next, we take a look at the rear I.O. Rear I.O. features five connections, which features a single HDMI, a single dual-link DVI, and three DisplayPort connections. Now let's take a look at what actually comes in the box. If we were doing an unboxing, this is actually what you would see. So here you have it, everything in the box. There's actually this really cool poster that we put up on the wall, which we've been using in the background now, and you guys can see that as well. So all in all, a pretty cool package. Okay, so there are all the speeds and feeds, what the card looks like. Now let's jump in, take a look at the test station, and then the benchmarks. As you guys can see, our test system is a pretty much mid-level system. It's nothing too outstanding, it's nothing too crappy, it's right there in the middle. All testing was done at 1920 by 1080p. We also use all the latest drivers from NVIDIA and AMD for all of our testing.
Oh, they're back. All right then, rocking out to the benchmark song. So there you guys have it, the brand new EVGA Super Super Clock GTX 960. Now, the temperatures on this thing were pretty incredible. Idle, 33, under full load, 71 Celsius. That means this thing's running really cool, and it came overclocked out of the box. In most of the tests, it actually beats the 760 quite a bit, making it a very good card for the money. Pretty much all these cards at launch, like the 660, the 760, they were actually even more expensive than the 960s at launch. Like I said, $199 for a reference model, $209 for an overclocked version like this, that's incredible. Back in the day, if you bought a car that had all this overclocked and superclocked stuff on it, they would charge you at least 50 or 60 more dollars. Now they're only charging you like 10, 15 bucks, which I think is an awesome thing. Now, question we wanna ask you guys, do you guys prefer videos in 4K or do you guys prefer them at 1080p at 60 frames per second like we're bringing them to you today? Something we just wanna know, so you guys give us a note down below. So for me, I think this card is a serious editor's choice card. It is the sweet spot for 1080p gaming. Look, almost every game we threw at it all test over 60 frames per second, over 100 on others. That's actually really good. And on MOBA gaming 4K, that's gonna be pretty damn good for you people out there who just do you know, World of Warcraft and that type of stuff. That's not my cup of tea, but for you guys out there who do it, you're gonna be in like Flynn, and this card's gonna be something you're gonna to wanna to be hooking your hooks into. Like usual, all the information for this car will be down below that like button, which God, I hope you guys are gonna go Chuck Norris on because I was up at 6 a.m., damn it. So hit it, I'm just saying. So you guys looking for a card, like I said, down below, below that, there will be all that information. Just hit show more info where you wanna buy the card, any more information, it'll all be there. So as you guys can see, I'm hyped up. I kinda wanna finish the video so I can go back to sleep and actually get on with my day. But that's it guys, it's early morning. Thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow. Launch day is here, the GTX 960 has arrived. We have the Zotac amp version coming up for you guys as well. So stay tuned to Tech of Tomorrow. Say my name. Say my name. Say my name.